Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the mod of Alexander the Great. Now, what this does is essentially makes Rome 2 into the Alexander expansion from Rome 1. So, you can play as Macedon, or the League of Corinth, and then you also have Persia to play as. So, Persia have been changed around so they're huge, and then you also have Macedon, so they actually control uh, pretty much all of Greece, and you can actually play as Alexander the Great and fight and conquer and rebuild his empire. So I am recording in a really weird setup. I'm basically on a dressing table and I can barely fit my microphone on the desk and it's right next to my laptop fan. So if there's issues with the audio, I once again apologise and I'm also looking at myself in a mirror when I'm recording this. This is very weird. Yeah, so apparently in the mod you can't play in easy or hard, so you have to go for very hard, legendary or normal. So we're going to go for very hard. We're going to take a little look at the mod, see what's kind of been changed around. Usually I have a second monitor so I can actually see all the features and stuff, but I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. So apologies. But uh, So it has a bit of a detail about the League of Corinth. And then you also have a little blurb here. And our faction traits are for Cilium Pride, so a 15% charge bonus for all cavalry units. And Barbarian Subduer, so plus 20 melee attack during battles against Barbarian tribes. And Persia has plus 20 the tax rate, plus, minus 25 public order penalties due to the presence of foreign cultures, and something else, which isn't there. So we'll take a little look, and I'll show Macedon off on the campaign map. Okay, so here we go. If we take a little look around at Macedon, we have... Is that Alexander? Cilian Cavalry. I'm not really sure that would be Alexander, so let's have a little look. Thank you. Alexander the Third. Okie dokie. So, it has the character model from, I think it's from Champlou's mod. Uh, if I've got that wrong, uh, please, I do apologise. Um, so, Alexander starts off at age 21, 2 ambition, 50 gravitas, the king of Macedon. So, this man cannot be killed, only wounded. So, this is, this mod turns into the, uh, the si similar series that Warrior of Sparta has done before. I think he might still be doing it. Uh, it's it was the way he tries to recreate Alexander's empire, but this mod kind of gives you a good starting platform to do that with. So Sparta is still a faction. Athens is no longer. As the main administrative Thank you. And Epirus is still there. So if we look at our diplomacy, I've also now turned off the advisor so they won't be bothering me again. So Epirus, we don't. You don't start with trade. You have trade with Knossos. So you're, you start off at war with the Persian Empire, and they're going to be huge. I'll take a little look at them afterwards. So Sparta looks like they might turn on us. They're not very friendly. Ah, this is Alexander with his starting force. So you start off with foot companions, lots of them, shield bearers, hoplites, citizen cavalry, and some other basic troops. So you start off with a force that can simply just go across and invade pretty much from the off. And that is pretty sweet. And what can we do here? We can upgrade them. So we shall. So we'll move Alexander a little bit. Okay, so I think all of the units are going to be pretty much the same. I'm not sure any of this has changed around. Oh, there, there are little changes. So I, what I'll do, as per usual with my mod videos, I'll leave a link in the description to the mod so you can go and check out all of the in-depth features because, unfortunately, <laughs> I can't see them at the time of recording. I could have done it post-recording, which I'm only just realising now, but hey-ho. So, I think some of the buildings might have changed around as well, so if we just build something. Consecrated ground, so the building times are the same. Okay, sweet. Objectives. So, military victory, so we need to control 65 settlements, and also control Egyptus, Syria, Paris, and Batraca, so we need to make our way all the way across the map and reconquer Alexander's empire. Well, not reconquer, conquer it for the first time. So you already have a minor force ready to take Pergamon, it seems. Okay. So you, the economy starting off isn't great. Wow. So you can get Royal Peltas in this province, I believe. So you can get a huge amount of different types of cavalry. Companion, Facilian, Cilicia, 
Aspis Companions, Citizen Cav, Tarantines, Food Companions, Fordax Pikemen. So the roster is pretty large to start off with, and you have the Royal Peltas, which are a beastly unit. Great. So, it would be extremely tempting to do a series of this, but I'm not going to commit to any new series right now. <laughs> as tempting as it would be to try and conquer and claim Alexander's empire in the name of Alexander. So that's a little look at the Macadons. So I'll take a little look at the Persians next so we can kind of have a look at their empire and their starting position. So I'll just jump over to that now. So here we have it, the might of the Persian Empire. Utterly, utterly huge. They control Egypt, all of Turkey, m the majority of the Middle East and the parts of Asia. And in terms of their diplomacy, I'm pretty sure they might have some vassals. No, they don't. In fact, everyone hates them. <laughs> oh, except the card. Okay, so I imagine you can probably make those into your vassal if you wanted to. Uh, but absolutely huge. Although, wow. Yeah, the uh, Darius the Third. I'm not sure he has many start. Oh, okay, never mind. He does have lots of starting forces and an income of 7,000 per turn. You can probably easily increase that so you have several extremely powerful navies. Now, you could probably use the Champions of Agartis to almost try and block off Alexander's invasion from the off. And you have several forces in the vicinity to try and counter the heroes among men being one of them. That looks like a very Hellenic army, so lots of hoplites to try and block Alexander's advance. So one thing that I believe the mod is quite suited for is actually doing a multiplayer campaign. So doing Alexander versus Persia, and I guess trying to recreate Alexander's conquests and your friend trying to stop them. So that would be quite something to see. In terms of technology, I think they're going to be pretty standard ones. And the objectives are to conquer Hellas, Macedonia, and Scythia. It's a rather random one, but I guess it's just to round it all out. And you currently control 61 settlements, or provinces, not provinces, 61 settlements. Okay. So there we go, a little look at the Alexander mod. Hope you've enjoyed the little video. This is pretty much all I can do at the minute in my current setup. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.